What we have here is an Aurora AS680 SBG strip cut six sheet shredder. Every household should have a shredder, whether it's strip cut or cross cut, more preferably cross cut, but strip cut will do. They're great for shredding legal documents, unimportant envelopes, junk mail, and evidence. Now what happens when your shredder no longer works? This one had suffered from a problem. I fixed the problem, but this one actually has a design flaw. There is a switch. Maybe if I get you close enough. There is a switch down in um, down in there that you can't see because I don't have the light on it. But there it is. It's that little black thing that you can see there in between the two treads there. It is not in the middle of the credit card slot, but it's pretty close to it. So when you insert a piece of paper or a credit card or anything, it will flip that switch and run the shredder motor. It will continue to run with this particular model. It will not run after that switch is depressed. So like if you put something in it, like say this, and now it doesn't want to go. Alright. It wasn't on. But if, if you put something in, like say this, it will not go. See? It will not go if that switch is not depressed. See, look at that. It's still there. And then you have to hit reverse, which isn't going to do well because it backs up right against the switch and jams. And how good is that? And so basically at that point, you've got a reverse on the shredder and it's a useless product at that point. And you better just go and get a new one. With this one, it was different. It's still not the shredder of the house anymore. And uh, I'm going to have to get some of that crap that shouldn't be in there out of there. Like uh, the candy bar wrapper that's in there. But, um... <clears throat> what you also get is you also get paper like that you can see there there's paper I'm trying to adjust this flywheel here see if that changes No, it doesn't seem to be changing anything. But anyways, you get paper jammed up in there. You get paper in the, um... Paper stuck in between the rollers, and then it ends up going into the motor. It ends up going in the components here. It ends up going everywhere. And uh, I don't have the proper screwdriver, so I can't see what kind of damage has been done, if any. Because I don't have the screwdriver that's necessary to get in there. Enough about that. Let's get shredding. Hey. There we go.
It's actually bending the plastic. Oh, come on. Jam, please. Oh, Jesus, that doesn't even fit. I don't know what was still in there, but... Oh, it wasn't important. Clear plastic sleeve. Nice. I don't know how many sheets this is, but... for my BJC2100 and I don't want to see it again. Oh, don't jam, don't jam, don't jam, don't jam. Nice. And then we see the problem. Not, it's not that it's not shredding anything. Is that it won't shred. Well, yeah, that is one of the problems. It's not shredding some things, but it's accordioning. Heh, <laughs> it didn't even shred these. Nice. So let's do those again. I have to actually go through this and shred it again, some of it. Some of these instruction booklets, maybe. See what it did and did not shred, and see what happens. All right, let's go. It is getting a little warm, but hopefully not too bad. Whoops. All right. Don't jam, please. Yeah, it's not, there's stuff in there, but it's not. Oh, quiet. Quiet. I'm sitting on. Shut up. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. All right, now we got more space. Oh, shut up. Now it doesn't want to shred. Just a second. Okay, let's do... Not as many sheets at a time. Now it 
doesn't want to shred. Getting it all in shot. It should be a little better. Oh Jesus. Just a second. This is definitely not the best shredder in the world. I will admit. It's not flawless. quite warm. Some of these look blank, but there's stuff on the back of it that I don't want you guys to see, so... That's just a copy of one of my English papers, so it's okay to see more copies of my English paper. Uh, how many copies of this stupid thing did I make? I'm going to use like the same letter for a whole bunch of them. Okay, this should be enough pages. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even shred that. Or didn't do a good job, anyways. Oh, God. <laughs> Suck that paper in. What a mess. print off more than two at a time. Oops. Shit. And see if I print off four it'll probably like complain. I'm surprised I didn't
nice. Although it didn't shred it very well, so I'm going to um, do that again. Pull all this stuff out. What a mess. Still recording. I am 15 minutes. Jesus. Where's the, um... What the hell? Maybe I tripped the thermal. I don't know. Maybe I tripped the thermal. I don't know. But, uh, let's see. I think I got the thermal. <laughs> Yeah, I just tripped the uh, thermal protector on it. So, uh, oh, oh no, maybe it's the bucket full sensor. I think it's the bucket full that I tripped. Okay, I'll be back when it's working. Okay, so now I'm disassembling it because I want to see uh, what is going on inside here that has caused the, um, thermal cutoff or whatever it is to go off. Okay, I figured it out. I tripped the thermal, so that's the problem. But that was the problem. I'm going to try and avoid putting in a lot of paper now. I'm shredding stuff I already thought I did shred, but it didn't go too well. So. So I'm doing it again. Okay, now it just wants to be a pain. And the best part is I have no shame in doing this. It's probably about like 50 sheets in there. may cut off. Actually, that's still usable. Keep that. Screenshot. What a waste of toner this is. quite nicely. Oh, it's gonna jam, it's gonna jam, it's gonna jam. It's not gonna jam. Oh, but it's not gonna shred either, so... <laughs> Hopefully I 
I didn't trip the thermal yet. And then we have all of these papers around it. Actually, you know what? Two pages at Might not do so well with the cardboard. No. I didn't do too well, too well with the cardboard. One more piece of paper. And uh, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you next time. Till then. Nice.